Hello, Bees Bladers! Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I am so freaking excited for this one. You guys have been seeing more of the budget budget lines and the budget knives lately, but this one, you know, I always got to mix it up. Every once in a while, we get a nicer one, and this is one of those. And I'm saying thanks to Kaiser because they sent the, they sent this to the channel, donated it to the channel, and I've got another exciting announcement a little later on in this video. I'm going to hold out for now. Cliffhanger. But this one is the Kaiser Mini Gemini. It's not the full size. Look at there. So all you folks that have the three-inch blade law, you're good. You're good to go. It's a Ray Laconico design, a carbon fiber, and it looks sweet. Let's get in here and check it out. These, these boxes, you can tell when you've got the, oh, there we go. You can tell when you've got the little pricier, little nicer ones because they come, the, they come in this box. Look at that. It has the lions on it, the lion door knockers. This is sweet. Are you ready? And this is in the Friday Club. Oh, and you're watching this. If you're watching this the day this video comes out, it'll be Friday for you. And this knife is going to be released on December 3rd at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Kaiser website. And what the Friday Club is, well, there you go. On behalf of the Kaiser team, I want to say thank you. You're the reason why we make knives. Kaiser Fr Fr Friday is our way of saying thank you. Um, on a Friday every month, Kaiser has the Friday Club. They have a knife that's released, and they're exclusives. And I can tell you this one is going to be an exclusive, but the Kaiser Mini, uh, the Mini Gemini is not going to be, this isn't going to be the only one. There's going to be other ones. I already saw them on Instagram talking about, hey, what do you guys think about a Micarta Mini Gemini, right? So with every Kaiser, you get a nice uh, packet, and you get a cleaning cloth. There you go. That's what you get inside, and there's a cleaning cloth inside here. I'm just going to leave it in there so I won't rip it. You never know when something's going to be given away. Ooh, are you ready? Are you set? Oh, look at that. Yes. Ooh, boy. Carp copper shred, carbon fiber, CPM, 20 CV. Let me wipe it off real quick. Oh, and it snaps. Let me get this stuff off. There we go. Oh, 20 CV blade still, CPM 20 CV. Whoa, screenshot time. Look at that. Would you look at it? Just look at it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Whoo, man. I'm almost shaking. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm easy. I'm easy to, to please. It's a Ray Laconico design. And I'm just giving you a good look all the way around it because I'm getting a good look all the way around it. But like I said, this will be available at 8 p.m. on December 3rd, Eastern Standard Time on the Kaiser website. Wow. Let's see what the blade looks like. Oh, man, that's a snap. Ooh, look at that. Would you look at it? Gosh, that is a thing of beauty. That is a thing of beauty. Ooh, we'll go all the way down. You can see the 20 CV there. Give you guys a look at this copper carbon fiber goodness. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> oh, there's, there's a look at the inside and you see the milling in there. We're going to take this, this bad boy. Yeah, I'm saying it. This bad boy. We're going to take it apart. There's this side. Look at that nice looking pocket clip. Whoo, this is an attractive knife. It's attractive. Now, so the regular size Gemini, it you can get those. There's a bunch of different ones, and I they, the, there's not going to be that much difference. The regular Gemini has a 3.125 inch blade, and this one is just under that, like 2.87 or something like that. I'll go over the specs here in just a second. So it's not going to be a lot smaller, but the one thing it's going to do, it's going to allow people that live in areas with restrictions to be able to get one. So I'm going to go over the specs in 60 seconds. All right, let's weigh this puppy and see what it is. Um, we'll do the specs in 60 seconds as soon as I get this weight. I'm going to guess three, maybe a little less than three. It feels pretty solid. Um, 2.37. Wow. This thing is light. It just feels so solid. I thought it was heavier than that. That's very nice. Very, very nice. All right. You ready for your specs? 
Let's do them in 60 seconds or less. Here we go. So your total length from tip to tip is six and five eighths inches. You have a nice drop point blade with CPM 20 CV steel and a beautiful satin, satin grind on there. Your total blade length is 2.88 inches. Your sharpened length is 2.78 inches. Your blade width is less than an inch, 0.95. Your blade stock thickness is 118 thousandths from here to here. Your thickness behind the edge was a consistent Ten thousandths of an inch. So it has good geometry with this nice full flat grind. That's what I'm talking about. Your handle material is carbon fiber with the copper fleck. That is sweet. Your closed width um, is 1.16 1 inches. Your closed length from tip to tip is 3.82 inches. Your handle thickness is 0.45 inches. So less than a half inch thick. It's a flipper, has a liner lock, and the pocket clip is right side tip up only carry. Eh, no, no lefty love there. Um, your hardware size is probably, I'm guessing, T8 and a T6. We'll find that out for sure here in a minute. And your designer, of course, is Ray Laconico. We'll check out the fit and finish, but first I want to see what it looks like in and out of the pocket. So let's see here. What's it going to look like? Pretty snazzy. What do you think, huh? Pretty snazzy. Not a big profile. Got a little bit sticking up up there, but has a nice click to it. It was comfortable in and out. Let's see what this sucker will do with a piece of phone book paper. Oh my goodness, whoa, this thing is a laser, it is a laser, oh my gosh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get some more phone book action for you guys here, wow, that is super sharp, so for your fit and finish, it's rock solid, there's no blade play, lock rock, none of that business, and what's our lock up here, uh, lock up is, I'd say about 40%, 40% on your lock up, which is very nice. And it has a nice pass through here, which makes it really comfortable, really comfortable. Golly, is it smooth. It is super smooth. So that that right there is a huge, oh my gosh. All right, so yeah, I'm, I'm in knife heaven here. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna set up four pairs real quick for you guys and gals so you can get an idea of how big or small this knife is. Here is the Spyderco Pair 3 up here, and this is the Spyderco Tenacious. So you can see it's a smaller knife. It's not too small, but here's the Pair 3. That's pretty close. Here's the Fair and Forge Stinger and the Kaiser Beg Lighter. I'm paying attention to get them lined up pivot to pivot as much as I can. So it's the handle length's pretty close to the uh, Stinger. And here is a very popular one many, many people have, the Spyderco Delica. And another popular one, QSP Penguin. So, and now we're getting now we're getting into that genre, the genre. And here's two more. Here is the Kaiser Deadpool Feist, and the Kaiser Mini Beg Lighter. So there you go. Now you know. If you have one of these, you have a general idea of what you're looking at. So remember when I told you I was going to tell you something a little later. This one is going to be given away. Within a day of the release of this video you're watching right now. So if you're a lucky person and you're watching this within, I would say, 24, 26 hours of seeing this video, someone is going to get this. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button so you're notified because it's going to be given away live on a live stream. That's right. So you might want to do that. And while you're at it, if you're here so far and you've enjoyed it, Give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I appreciate your guys' support for giving me the likes and talking and saying stuff in the comments. That's what helps us. That's what helps the channel grow. That's what allows YouTube to tell other people, hey, you might want to watch this video because other people are watching it, that kind of stuff. But enough housekeeping. Let's get to the fun stuff. So let's see how the deployment goes here. Here's the light. Let's do a light switch. Make sure I'm all focused. My focus always needs more focus. Here's a light switch. Ooh, that was pretty nice. And now here's the push button. Oh my, oh my gosh. The action on this thing. Look at this. For the, this thing weighs like nothing. It doesn't even weigh three ounces. This blade is not heavy and it still is so smooth. Wow. And I've never had the regular Gemini. This is my first experience, but listen to the acoustics. It is so snappy. Let's see what it does left-handed. Oh my goodness. Easy, easy to open, easy to close, both hands. 
Um, would I call this fidgety? Absolutely. Just And it doesn't have a bunch of different ways to deploy it. You can pinch it open. A little bit of gentlemanly cutting. <laughs> and let's see what we have here. We don't have... The, the sharpening tool comes right up to the plunge grind, so you're gonna have to be careful that you don't give it a smile when you're sharpening it. And you don't really have a choil. You can choke up like this, but I mean, this is a gentleman's knife. You're not gonna be out in the woods. Well, I mean, you might, depending on who you are, but you know, this is a more gentlemanly knife. The ergos, comfortable. There's no, there's no hot spots. You know, that, that pocket clip is low profile. It didn't grab, it went in and out of the pocket real easy and it's comfortable. It's comfortable. Now, let me give you the size of my hand. From here to here, it's four inches. From here to here, it's three and a half. From here to here is seven and a quarter. So I have a large size hand. My fourth finger doesn't fit. Well, yeah, it kind of does. So if I'm cutting regular, here's where my fingers fall. So you see half of my pinky is on there. When I do this, it's covered. So I would say, yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely a full grip. My fingers are not full, not coming off of it. It's comfortable. There's not really any hot spots to think of, to mention. I mean, you could really do some slicing with this. Man, this, this is a slicey blade too. But yeah, it's comfortable. There's no jimping or anything like that. It's nice and smooth. The edges are, are not sharp at all, which I really appreciate. Yeah, no, no problems, no problems there, no hot spots. The ergos are comfortable. It has good fidget factor. I mean, so far, what could I say negative about the knife? I guess the only thing would be that the pocket clip's not reversible. That's about it. You do have a lanyard hole. I would have preferred if there would have been a post back here and there wouldn't have been a lanyard hole. I think it just would have added to the general aesthetics of the knife. But I'll give you another look at it and we're gonna get inside here and see what it looks like on the inside real quick. Okay, let's get in here and take this bad boy apart and see what it looks like. Um, get you a wee hop bit set, that's all I gotta say. There's a link in the description, but I mean, you can use this. It even has a driver on it that's magnetic. You can use that if that's all you have. And it also is, as you guys have seen, if you've watched my recent videos, it's also a great backup for when you need two. And then I also have the stubby wee hop bit driver. There's links in the description. Um, there are uh, Amazon affiliate links. I might get a couple cents out of it if you wanna support the channel. And make sure if you get one, you get the one that starts with the five millimeter, <laughs> you get, you'll get a set that will not help you. So I'm gonna get a, an eight and a six out here. That's a seven. So I'm gonna get a six and an eight. And let's see what it looks like on the inside. I'm not gonna take forever. I'm gonna try to just breeze through it here. What? Wait a second, I got a T10 out, see? Not paying it. Now, <laughs> So here's a prime example. If you don't put something back where it goes, I remember I put this back in the wrong spot last time. And I was like, I'm going to regret that. Well, I mean, I kind of regret it because it took 10 seconds of the video up, but eh, it's neither here nor there. Oh, easy, easy to come apart. Very nice. Very nice. Make sure I'm focused for you. So yeah, let's get that out. Wow. Came out very nice, and I'm not gonna, you guys, if you've watched my disassemblies, I don't have to re-explain. If you haven't watched, I do have blue Loctite medium that I use that if I need to, but I check my knives all the time because I'm a knife reviewer. If you don't check your knives all the time, if you don't check the screws all the time, I suggest you use a little bit of Loctite if you see Loctite in there. But most of the knives that I have, the only time I ever need to use a little bit of a thread locker is if the pivot moves and it goes off center for me, you know, call it pivot walking. All right, so let's see if that's all I have to, yeah, that's it. Those two screws, let me save that little dude. So here's what this side looks like and very nice. I really, really, that's another reason why it's, it's smooth is because it has this coating, but they've, they've uh, taken off the coating right here. So it glides on those, uh, let me get this off here off those ball bearings. That's why it glides so well, and I bet it's even gonna work better once we clean it a little, because it does have some stuff in there. Look at that. So I'm guessing these are probably, are you gonna come off of there? Come off of there. There we go. I'm guessing these are probably ceramic, and I'm gonna check with a, uh, gee whiz, there we go. I'm gonna check with a magnet. Oh, let's see, is it, it is ceramic. Of course it's ceramic. 
And here's this side. You can see where it's milled out really nice. Very nice, nice and milled out. So I'm just gonna make this a nice and simple one. Get a little bit of Alki Mahal on my rag. It's not that dirty, but it does have a little bit of a little bit of grimage going on. So the only thing that could possibly happen here is it's gonna get even smoother. It's gonna be smooth. Yeah. I'm excited for the live streams. This is a big weekend in the knife world. Depends on when you're watching this video, so I won't get too specific. <laughs> you might be watching this video a year after uh, after this weekend, so like I said. But you guys, I always have I always have the knife or knives in the description, and you know, in the description of this video, I will definitely have a link to the regular size Kaiser Gemini and when. The the gym the mini Gemini other versions come out. I'll have a link to them too, but I'll have a link to Kaiser's website. And here's something else: if you like Kaiser, I have a 10% off discount code to Mojave Outdoors. So if you like to shop on say Amazon, if you're on Amazon and looking at Kaiser's, look over to the right, and if it says it's sold by Mojave Outdoor, you can use code Bees Blades, all caps, and you'll get 10% off just like that. So there we go. It's pretty clean. I'm satisfied with that just for the sake of showing you guys what it looks like. Now, this is something else. KPL Knife Pivot Lube, 10% off discount is in the description of the videos. Um, this is what I'm going to use for the pivot. I'm just going to put a little bit. Ooh, that was a lot bit. <laughs> uh, let me get a swab. And I get I use these swabs from KPL too. Oh my gosh, I got weight. I'm just going to wipe that off before do a little damage control. Because that was just that was just a huge globage. Let's try it again. A very gentle drop here and a gentle drop there. <laughs> All right, that's a lot better. I'm just going to spread it around. You don't have to use this. As always, you guys, if you watch my videos, you know I just enjoy using these little tools because it's fun. I enjoy the whole taking them apart. And let's see. I'm going to put this dude back on there and put just a drop on both sides. A little bitty drop. I got a new bottle of KPL, and my old bottle, it for some reason, it didn't squeeze out very well, so I was used to having to go, Arr! this one, it's very, very easy, and you can see how simple this is to to put put together, take apart, so if you have one, I know some folks are scared to take them apart, but you can see it's, there's not a whole lot to it. This right here is the stop pin that I just put back in, it came out. That's the stop pin, and this right here is where that stop pin hits. And right in here, this is the detent hole. I'm going to put one drop of KPL Heavy, KPL Knife Pivot Lube. I'm going to put one drop in here, just one little drop ski. Yeah, be careful not to flood it. There we go. Success. One little drop. A little bitty trail. Just a little trail. There we go for the detent ball. And the detent ball is right here. I got, you know, not everyone here is here, is an expert or been here a long time. That detent ball falls, falls into that hole. That's what keeps your blade, blade shut. So let's put it back in and we'll see how easy or difficult it is to recenter this thing. I'm going to go ahead and put a lid oh almost put the heavy in there which i think you can it's personal preference you can mess around there's also kpl uh, extra light that you can use and here's that there's the what is it called ultra light i knew it was called something fancy ultra light i'm gonna clean off my little swabby and these swabs you can you know i use the same one i have a couple that i use just for for oil i have a you know just a couple and I clean them off and reuse them. So I'm putting this bad boy back on there. Just a little droppage, a little droppage. I'm excited for the next giveaway I'm doing. Uh, you guys have made this made this journey amazing. The channel is growing at leaps and bounds. I'm having a blast. I love the Friday Friday night live streams. If you haven't been to one, Bees Blades Live, live at the Hive, every Friday night. 8.15 to 11.15 Eastern Standard Time. And we have an absolute blast. I'm going to show you something right here here real quick. You see that pivot is D-shaped? 
I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's D-shaped so it doesn't spin. I appreciate that so much, especially if you've watched the last few disassemblies. I don't like it when I have to use more than one wrench. All right, so are we gonna go back together? Let me put the blade out here. How are we doing? Does it look like everything's going into place? Yeah, it does. Everything looks like it's going where it's supposed to. All right, let's put our pivot in here. So definitely meet us on Friday nights because I, so, so far I've given away a knife every single Friday night on a live stream. And also I give away knife pivot lube. So not that I'm trying to bribe you to hang out because uh, we have a blast. We'll have fun if you don't show up, but we'll have more fun if you do. So tightening that down just a little bit. I'm going to get these uh, little guys back here. And I put them back in the same spot I found them. So I'm putting them back in the same hole. Some people do, some people don't. And I don't see any Loctite on here. I don't think they used any. But like I said, I check mine all the time. I'm not tightening these down. I'm just getting them down in there. I always tighten the pivot first. But... What do you guys think about this one? Um, I know a lot of you watching this probably have the regular size Gemini. And you're probably like, hey, I want one of those. Oh, what? What, what, what? Dropped it. So now hopefully some of the knives I showed you will give you an idea of the size of this. And is it going to spin? No, it's going it's to go. It's going to go just right. So now I'm going to tighten down my pivot. Pivot. Oh my gosh, look at this. Wow, it's already dead centered, dead centered. Jeez, can I tighten down the pivot anymore? Do I need to? This pivot's pretty snug. And let's see what our centering looks like. It is just dead on. Wow, wow. That's all I can say is wow. I'm gonna make sure I have the back, back ones uh, tightened down and it was that easy. So I really do. I mean, when you guys leave comments, I like to answer every single one of them. Sometimes the way YouTube studio works, it won't show me a content, a comment until it's been two or three days. And sometimes I'll comment and it won't show up. And I'm like, what the heck? So definitely leave a comment. Let me know what you think about. Let's go out to the main screen here. So there's the Kaiser Mini Gemini. This one was donated by Kaiser to the Bees Blades channel. And one of them was do donated by Kaiser for one of you lucky people that are going to see the video and be on the live stream and win this puppy. So tell me what you think about it. I'm I'm liking it. I mean, I feel fancy. I, feel, I just feel like 10 notches fancier having this thing. I can't wait. Oh my goodness, that action. I can't wait to have this in my pocket. It is so snappy, lightweight. Wow, man, I, I can't wait. I'm, I'm ready to go ahead and get this video ended right now so I can go play with this knife. I really appreciate you guys. Remember to live life in the present, keep a Band-Aid handy, and don't cut yourself.